Hey everyone, I'm the Canadian Lad, and I've watched the final episode of WandaVision once again at 0.25x speed. I managed to get myself 10 new details, some of which will literally blow your mind. But before I begin, please allow me 54 seconds to thank Blinkist for sponsoring today's video. I've always wanted to read more books, but it can be tough to find time in the day to read hundreds of pages with so many distractions around us. But Blinkist is the only app that condenses non-fiction books to give you the key insights and knowledge of each book so that you can apply those lessons right away. Blinkist offers thousands of books to choose from, and each book is only about 15 minutes to either read or listen to. It allowed me to read some key insights into some famous books such as Zero to One and Talking to Strangers. And with the audio option, I've been able to start my day off by listening to a new book, which helps set up my day for success. Without Blinkist, I honestly would have left books unfinished, which is why I highly recommend downloading Blinkist today using my link in the description. Best of all, the first 100 people who will click my link in the description will get unlimited access for one week to try it out. You'll also get 25% off if you want the full membership. So use my link and head over to Blinkist now. Number 1. When Wanda transforms into the Scarlet Witch for the first time. If you take a closer look at her new costume, we can clearly see a shape of the Mind Stone at the top center of her costume. A very subtle detail implying that Wanda does possess a piece of the Mind Stone inside of her. Number 2. At this point, you probably watched the scene where the people of Westview start questioning Wanda until she can take no more. But notice what happens here. She unintentionally makes everyone choke on the ground. This is a callback to the first episode where we saw Wanda doing the same thing to Mr. Hart. So my theory is actually right. Because Mr. Hart was questioning the Hex, so Wanda subconsciously caused him to choke. Of course this remained a theory for months, till I watched the final episode again in slow motion and I suddenly caught this callback. Number 3. When Wanda does the whole mind control thing to Agatha Harkness, she takes her all the way back to Salem, Massachusetts, where Agatha killed her her mother and the rest of the witches. But the idea backfires as the witches turn to Wanda instead of Agatha Harkness. We all know that, but here's the detail I found. Wanda never took Agatha back to Salem. She thought she did, but it's quite the opposite. It was actually Agatha Harkness who mind controlled Wanda and got her to Salem. Because if I slow down the speed here, we can see Agatha Harkness clearly sensing Wanda. She acted surprised and scared to throw Wanda off. Oh, no! 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 Agatha has been doing this since the beginning of her origin story. I know nothing of these crimes. I, I swear it. Enough deception. They simply bent to my power. She throws people off by giving them a false sense of victory. That's like one of her go-to moves. Number four. When Vision unlocks the memories of White Vision, we get a quick flash of everything that Vision has experienced so far in the MCU. But notice this quick shot of Wanda from Age of Ultron. Vision wasn't there when this happened. Neither was Iron Man. So there's no way Vision saw this happening even as Jarvis. The rest of the memories all have something to do with either Vision or Jarvis, except this memory of Wanda. So why is it there? My theory is, because Wanda and Vision have been a couple ever since Civil War, so Wanda must have shared this memory with Vision. Therefore, it's so vividly there. Number 5. After defeating Agatha Harkness, Wanda hugs both Billy and Tommy. But it only occurred to me now that they have taken this directly from the comics. The costumes are accurate, their positioning and even the way Wanda is holding them. Number 6. This final episode takes place in broad daylight the entire time. Even outside the hex, it was daytime. But notice, as soon as Wanda is done fighting everyone and was on their way home to say goodbye to the boys, it suddenly starts getting darker. So Wanda is getting rid of the daylight inside the hex so that she has a reason to put the boys to sleep. It really hits differently now when you think of it this way, doesn't it? Number 7. Dottie's character is called Sarah. Dottie. My name is Sarah. In the credits, we can see the full name of her character, which is Sarah Proctor. In the real-life Salem witchcraft trials, there was a woman named Sarah Proctor, accused of witchcraft, but she eventually survived. Number 8. In my previous breakdown of this episode, I talked about how Vision was falling apart in cube or square shapes. Now, a viewer of my channel has sent me a fun little detail. He found a detail in Spider-Man Far From Home, which takes place after WandaVision, where there's a memoriam right at the beginning. Now, that memoriam is made by some of the students from Midtown. Therefore, the quality 
quality is low, and the transitions used in the video are really basic. But notice the transition used for vision. It's the same shape in which it is integrated in WandaVision. Quite the coincidence, eh? Number 9. We all may be a little disappointed with the way they dealt with Ralph Boner, but what if I tell you this was coming right from the beginning? The whole series was leading up to it. In episode 5, Wanda says Agnes has a really high libido. But there's no taming this tiger. It's not Agnes's fault that she has an unusually high libido. And in episode 1, there are a few more sexual references made as well. What about seduction techniques? No, darling, I still get a little tongue tied. <laughs> Fizz? The best course of action is to impress the wife. And I think the best course of action is to impress the husband. <laughs> So considering all of this, the fact that Agnes's make-believe husband turned out to be someone named Boner isn't as shocking anymore. Kevin Feige really played us here, but that doesn't mean Evan Peters is only Ralph Boner. The reason they didn't show him at the end is because they can now literally bring him back as Quicksilver in whatever way they want. Thanks to Michael Keaton for sending me this detail. Number 10. Now this detail has nothing to do with slow motion, but I'm including it as a bonus detail, because I think you lads should know about this. Remember the heart on the calendar in the first episode? Well, director Matt Shackman has actually explained what that easter egg really means. We learned in episode 8 that Vision had bought a deed for a piece of land in Westview, where he planned to live with Wanda, with the heart circling the deed. And this heart on the calendar was a reference to that deed that Vision had left for Wanda. Shackman said, and I quote, This show is about love. It is also about loss. It's about the dance between love and loss. So the heart on the calendar is the heart on the deed. So the meaning behind this easter egg is finally explained, and it's just as beautiful as one would expect. And and that's it. These are the details I found after watching this episode again at 0.25x speed. I hope I managed to give you lads a few new details that you weren't expecting to see. If not, I'll try harder in the next one. Speaking of which, my next video will probably be the breakdown of Falcon and the Winter Soldier episode 1 at 0.25x speed. So I'll be doing weekly breakdowns just like I did with WandaVision. And I hope you lads will enjoy them too. So please grab the subscribe button for all the amazing content that's coming on the channel. And please give me a thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram to get updates about my videos. Till then, I'll see you lads in the next one. It feels like it belongs to someone else. That shield represents a lot of things to a lot of people. Symbols are nothing without the women and men that give them meaning. We need someone to inspire us again. The world's more complicated now. We're never gonna stop. This world is ours.